All right, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and learn um, Drive by Incubus. Um, now, uh, this is definitely an interpretation of mine of the song. Um, it's not dramatically different from the way they play it, but um, I learned it a number of years ago when it first came out, and um, as often um, happens, I end up throwing some extra rhythm uh, and changing the chords maybe a little bit from uh, the way I first learned it. But um, it's still going to be a pretty basic uh, version of it and uh, close enough to it to where most of you probably won't notice a difference. So um, let's actually go ahead and start on it. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to – hopefully you can hear me good. I, I just recorded this a uh, few seconds ago, and it got too loud and peaked my microphone. So um, I'm going to go ahead and try to play this a little more quiet, so hopefully you'll be able to hear it on the video. Um, if not, I'm gonna, you know, I'll still at least hold the guitar up close enough to the neck uh, or to the camera, to where you can see everything clearly. So, um, let me play it real quick. I'm gonna play with my hand, so I'm not too loud. But this is uh, basically my version of it, the way I like to play it. It's like this. <laughs> song there, but I, I probably won't be able to get to that in a 10 minute video. Um, now let's go ahead and start on the song. We've got this first chord here. Now what it is, is we've got a first finger. Uh, actually, we're going to be using the open E, so you don't have to worry about that one, but the next note that we have, we're going to be pressing down, is the uh, seventh fret of the A string. Okay, And remember where we are, these double dots are the twelfth fret, ninth fret, and then seventh fret for that dot. So first finger is on the seventh fret of the A string. Okay. Um, then on the D string, my third finger is going to press down the ninth fret for that note. Okay. Then my pinky is going to press down the ninth fret of the G. Okay. So that note. And then uh, my second finger or middle finger is going to press down the uh, eighth fret of the B string. If you can see that. Um, and also we're going to use uh, the skinny E string too, so that can be open. Got to make sure you don't mute that. So going slowly through the chord, you can hear all the notes and just check and make sure you have the same tones coming out when you strum these strings. So we've got the thick E string, the A, the D, the G, the B, and the E. Okay, open, seventh, Ninth, ninth, eighth, open. Okay? Now, what we're going to do here is um, start off with an open on the E string. Okay? That's the thick E string. Now, after we play that open, then we're going to play this note. It's the seventh fret on the A. So go ahead and pluck the A string. You've already got the note pressed down. Okay. Then you're going to strum the rest of the chord, these bottom four strings, three times. Okay, so it's going to sound like this. All right. Now these fingers will come up, but your first finger stays put. Okay, so pick those up, and you're going to rotate around, keeping your first finger on the seventh fret of the A string, and put your middle finger on the seventh fret of the G string, okay, and put your third finger on the seventh fret of the B string, all right? Those are the only three notes that we play. Everything else is muted, so our thick E string is muted, our uh, A string is still in the ninth fret, our D string is muted, our G string is in the seventh fret, our B string is in the seventh fret, and our skinny E string is muted. Okay, so the chord we should hear are just those three notes. Okay, now when you're actually playing this chord in the song, you're going to play the A string and then the B and the G together. Okay, and that's actually it. Just play that one, then the chord. So it's going to sound like this.
Okay? Now what I like to do is play uh, an open D after that. Okay? Just the open D. And then I land a, a first finger on the third fret of the A string. Okay? So I have the open D and then third fret right there. This note plays by itself, but it's actually part of a larger chord. This uh, finger can be laid down first, though, if you're having trouble switching to everything else. So open D, third fret on the A, then lay down the rest of your chord. What that's going to be is your, th um, let's just go through all the notes here. E string here is muted. Don't play that one. You got your first finger in the third fret of the A string. You've got, on your D string, you've got the 5th fret with your 3rd finger, okay? For your G string, you've got the 4th fret um, with your 2nd finger. That's that note. Then with your pinky, you're going to play the 5th fret of the B string. And we're going to have that skinny E string in there. Open, okay? So the chord's going to sound like this. Now, what you're going to do when you get to this chord, you know, first off, remember we played this note by itself, so we play that once, and then you play the rest of the chord three times again. Okay, it's going to sound like that. Sorry. So going through all that slowly, it's going to sound like this. Then we have two open A's. Okay. Now, you may notice I've got my fingers all over the neck here just for an open A. I don't like having to be real careful with which string I hit when I'm only strumming one string. So instead of being real careful, leaving all these notes open and plucking that one, I just mute everything else and go all the way across every string and the only one that plays is the A string. Um, the way I do that is my thumb comes around and touches this thick E string, and so it's muted. Okay? I leave the A open, and then these bottom four strings are muted with these fingers. I'm just laying them across there, but not pressing down, so they're all muted. Okay? So I can just strum across. Okay? Now I'm going to go through that chord progression again for you so you can see it again. I'm I'm going to try to strum up here so you can see what strings I'm strumming, if, if that'll help you or not. I don't, I'm not for sure, but we'll give it a shot. So here it is. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, now... I said I do change the rhythm a lot with myself, and usually I actually play this with my hands. So when I am playing it, I'm doing it more like this. stuff I'll do that next part on a different video but um, that's the first part that everybody recognizes of that song so I hope you enjoy the video and keep practicing